Ballots for Arizona go out tomorrow, but before the votes are cast, Team 12 has been crisscrossing the state to hear from voters ahead of the election. Team 12's Michael Doudna is in Flagstaff for us tonight. Hey, Michael. Hey guys, I mean, Flagstaff was supposed to actually host the president today before his COVID-19 diagnosis, but with the president now recovering, we actually went out to the voters themselves yeah, to ask what messages they had for the two men who want to be in the White House. The decision tracker rolling into Flagstaff after months of campaign ads. Joe Biden said he's absolutely on board with defunding the back and forth. I'm here, I'm here standing facing Pocahontas. you all, buddy. The two candidates have made their messages to the people clear, but what about the voters? So we decided to set up a sign in downtown Flagstaff with a loaded question. What's your message to the candidates? My name is Ben Gersten. My name is Mary Amato. It's Robert Ely. Almost 20 folks stepped up to the mic. I really just like to see a president who doesn't just talk about it, but actually does something. With their own pleas for whoever leads the country for the next four years. Tell the truth. That's all we want to hear. It would be to remember the working people. Uh, we're working really hard through all of this. And while there were partisan supporters cheering on their man. Vote Biden 2020. I'm a Trumpster. I love him. Most had different issues they cared about, from the environment to health care to rebuilding an economy hampered by COVID-19. We have many urgent problems, that we challenges that we need to face in this country. But above all else, the common theme was an end to the back and forth that has divided country, city, and community. Let's look at what we have in common and focus on unity. Pointing fingers, blaming the American people deserve a lot better than that. Now, Coconino County went to uh, Hillary Clinton back in 2016, and she won it by about 20 points. And coming up at both 12 News 5 and 6, we'll hear much more from the Flagstaff voter. We're in Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News.